Hi, welcome to our channel True Up. As a deterrence, Taiwan should implement a scorched earth strategy and destroy its own semiconductor foundries in the aftermath of any Chinese invasion, according to U.S. military researchers. The authors contend that, in the face of China's expanding military force and skill, U.S. military threats or demonstrations are unlikely to succeed, and that any actual fight on the island may be won by China. Instead, destroying Taiwan's semiconductor sector, including global chip behemoth TSMC, will make it a less appealing target and stymie China's own technological goals. In response, the Chinese State Council's Taiwan Affairs Office published an essay on December 23, 2021, stating that the mainland's pursuit of cross-strait reunification is clearly not for TSMC. You might think the phrase scorched earth policy is a joke, but as tensions between Taiwan and China rise, TSMC's important role in the global semiconductor supply chain has emerged as one of the world economy's most serious threats. As a result, Western governments and TSMC are wrestling with how to avoid a worst-case scenario in which China invades or blockades Taiwan, cutting off a critical supply of semiconductors to the global economy. What precautions have they taken? What should China do in this situation? Can eliminating TSMC truly save Taiwan if necessary? Please subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell before we begin today's video. Let's have a look at the topic we'll be discussing today. Taiwan's Semiconductor Manufacturing Corp's intention to develop foundries in Japan and the United States appears to be a typical company expansion at first glance. The $8.6 billion Japanese investment and the $12 billion U.S. investment bring TSMC closer to consumers in key regions, diversify its supply chain, and even lessen the risk of interruption from Taiwan's earthquakes. But delve a little further, and it's evident that these aren't your average offers. It's difficult to overestimate TSMC's global significance. It accounts for more than half of worldwide foundry revenue and dominates around 84% of the global market for advanced chips under 10 nanometers. These chips are at the core of every cutting-edge product and weapon on the world, and they are vital to the US-China contest for technological dominance. As a result, we believe TSMC is perhaps the most significant firm on the globe. However, TSMC's manufacture remains centered in Taiwan. With China taking a more confrontational stance toward the island over which it claims sovereignty, the global economy is vulnerable to upheavals. If China shuts off TSMC's supply line, it might spark a global economic catastrophe, and part of their manufacturing may move out of Taiwan as a result. It will be a difficult balancing act for TSMC and Western nations to handle the move away from overly concentrated Taiwanese manufacture. If it is rushed or too much pressure is put on TSMC to construct a supply chain that excludes China, it would produce severe tension with Beijing. Other critical aspects for TSMC to consider include the fact that China is the world's largest market for semiconductor sales. It's also more effective to retain production in one location, allowing for economies of scale that have given TSMC a gross margin of about 50% over the last three years. On the other hand, if Western nations try to move the crown jewels of the semiconductor sector to their own markets, China is unlikely to sit quietly by. China believes Taiwan to be sovereign territory and is threatened to recapture it by force if necessary. It is extremely sensitive to any move toward island independence. China, which now has a 7.6% market share of worldwide semiconductor production, is expected to have the highest proportion of chip manufacture by 2030 aided in part by an estimated $100 billion in Chinese government subsidies. It is several generations behind the West in chipmaking and so equally reliant on TSMC. However, becoming self-sufficient in semiconductor production is not as straightforward as obtaining a TSMC foundry plan and reproducing it elsewhere. Even a low-cost foundry capable of producing 50,000 wafers per month costs over $15 billion, TSMC produces 2.7 million wafers per month. Furthermore, foundry employees are highly competent, well-educated engineers in short supply, and their experience is just as important as their education. A silicon wafer, the heart of a microprocessor, is made in 400 to 1,400 stages over around 12 weeks and is 100 layers deep, with some as thin as a single atom. 
To make matters even more complicated, the raw ingredients must be extremely clean, allowing for impurities equivalent to only one grain of sand in 16 Olympic swimming pools, yet a single particle of dust during manufacture may ruin the entire wafer, costing millions of dollars. Taiwan has spent decades developing the capacity, skills, and supply chains needed to produce cutting-edge semiconductors on this scale, and other nations will struggle to replicate this achievement in only a few years. Nonetheless, the transformation is happening, and it is advancing substantially. TSMC was a secluded business that had no desire to leave its home location until 2020. Aside from manufacturing sites in Shanghai and Nanjing, the company's only other international locations were in Singapore and Washington. That began to change when Donald Trump's administration labeled China a strategic rival and criticized the susceptibility of the tech industry's supply chain to China. In June of last year, TSMC started construction on a $12 billion factory in the United States, with plans to begin producing 5 nanometer chips in 2024. It might add up to five more fabs to the site. The $7 billion Japan Sony joint venture was launched in November, with development set to begin this year and production of 22 and 28 nanometer chips set to commence by the end of 2024. TSMC revealed this month a proposal to develop the project, which is situated in Kumamoto on the southern island of Kyushu, with an initial $1.6 billion investment from Denso Corp., which will acquire a 10% interest. Preliminary talks have also taken place with the German government about establishing a facility there, and TSMC has stated that it expects to invest $44 billion in growth this year. China will be monitoring to see if TSMC's overseas growth increases further, particularly if it begins moving manufacturing of cutting-edge 3 nanometer chips to foreign nations. Taiwan is already developing 3 nanometer chips, with production set to begin in the second part of this year. When asked if 3 nanometer chips will be manufactured in the US or Japan in the future, a TSMC representative stated, TSMC does not rule out any future possibilities, but at the time, the firm is focusing on the building of its advanced semiconductor fabs in Arizona and Japan. According to the spokesman, TSMC's worldwide expansion strategy is driven by customer demands, commercial prospects, operational efficiency, and cost considerations. The business is spending where necessary to satisfy customer demands and address the structural growth in long-term demand for semiconductor technology, says a spokesperson. We can't forecast the future but I believe anything might happen between Taiwan and China at any point. I hope that all disputes may be handled amicably and that the lost kid can return home. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.